Hey, if you're looking to move to the greater Denver metro area, you're looking at three main areas. Denver itself, you're looking at West Denver, which is like Littleton, Lakewood, Arvada, and then you have the beast that's on the east, and that is Aurora. Aurora is one of the biggest cities, actually the third biggest city in Colorado, and we are tackling about eight things that you need to know before you move into the area. So let's get on into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am Sean and on this channel, we make videos about what it's like living in Colorado. Simple as that, that's what we do. So if you're into that, you wanna to subscribe to the channel and then hit that bell so you're notified each time we upload that new hotness. Uh, but today, because it is a beast of a topic, I brought a beast of a real estate agent to join me, Signe Congdon. How you Hello. doing today? I'm Hello. good. <laughs> good. Sydney's joining me because one, she's awesome, but two, she bought her first condo uh, in Aurora just last year. So she's going to be telling you all the things that she knows and all the things that you should know about living in the area. Ain't that right? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Cool. Let's get on into it. Let's do it. So first off, the thing you need to know about Aurora, like we mentioned, it's big, vast area. When people say. They, they're looking at Aurora. We're like, okay, let's, let's stop, pause, talk about where at in Aurora. Because if you're in North Aurora or if you're South Aurora, that's going to be a big difference in drive time uh, from where you need to be. Aurora is basically everything east of the city. So if you live here, you already know when you tell people that you live in Aurora, they're like, ah, where at? Because Aurora is known for some good things and some bad things, but um, like we mentioned, it is a, a large, vast area with many different types of lifestyle, many different types of housing, and um, that's kind of what's cool about it, right? Because in Aurora, you could find uh, a first-time homebuyer's opportunity, first-time homebuyer's place to live, or you could find million-dollar properties with amazing views and everything like that. So that's the first thing to know, Aurora, she big, she big. All right, well then let's just roll into right into topic number two because there are so many areas of, of Aurora, there are many types of housing within this area. So like Sydney, you just bought your first condo here. Yes, I did. Super exciting, up yep. top, good job. Why Aurora? Was it your first choice? Uh, why Aurora? And now that you've lived here for a little bit, anything that you learned? That yeah. you didn't know before. Um, it wasn't my first choice. I grew up in South Denver, so Aurora wasn't really in the choice, but it's actually a great because it's kind of centralized. It's really close to DTC um, in Denver. And then for my work, I have to dr travel and drive a lot. So driving to n up north is much closer than if I were to live in um, South Denver. Yeah, so thing to know, there are a lot of HOAs and don't get if you love them or you hate them because some people are like I definitely want an HOA some people are like I want to do whatever the hell I want I want to paint my house pink if I want to well some areas you can um, but a lot of the newer construction areas they're gonna have restrictions on what you can and can't do but they're also gonna provide a lot of cool amenities like they'll have like the pop-up parks or they'll have the pool or the rec center amenities like that i'm thinking like off the top of my head like saddle rock ridge talons reach copper leaf neighborhood some of those newer neighborhoods will have those amenities that you'll pay a couple hundred dollars uh, a month uh, into it but like the common grounds and everything else those areas will be taken care of so there are hoas in aurora and you should know that and we're at the uh, the Southlands uh, Movie Theater, Southlands Shopping Center, awesome area in Aurora. But Sid the Kid's gonna hit you with a, a fun movie fact that probably when you were a kid, this movie came out. A movie called Over the Edge came out in 1979. It was one of Matt Dillon's first roles. And so that was filmed in Aurora, Colorado. Have you ever seen this movie, Sydney? I haven't. <laughs> she hasn't seen the movie. Do you know who Matt Dillon is? I do. Yeah. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who is he? He's in Herbie. So fun fact, uh, parts of that movie was shot here. 
Great color right of day. We got the sunshine behind us. It just cleared up. And if you've watched one of our other videos on things to know about Colorado, you know that you always need those shades because it gets sunny really quick. The future is always sunny and bright in Colorado, but sometimes you could have a doom and gloomy day, like crime. I always mention there are thieves of opportunity in Colorado, in Denver, and sometimes if you mention Aurora, people, or when people are talking to us about Aurora, they're like, hey, what's going on with the crime over there? We can't tell you exactly what you will be comfortable with because everyone's safety tolerance is a little bit different. Um, my gauge, as I always say, would I feel comfortable with my girlfriend, I don't have a girlfriend, but my hypothetical girlfriend walking her hypothetical dog outside by herself at night. Would I feel comfortable with that? If yes, cool. If not, no. But that is only Sean's system of safety. And if you want to find out your, your own, we recommend checking out the Denver crime map because there are there are crimes in Aurora. For the most part, I really do think that Colorado is a state where it's like, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. So if you're not doing bad, typically bad things aren't gonna happen to you. Knock on wood. But if you wanna check out and learn more, check out the crime maps because it does vary area to area. And that's also why we always, right, we always recommend that people come out and check out the house. If you're buying a home, in Colorado and you don't live here right now. So within the first week of being under contract, you get the opportunity to come out and get an inspection on the home and get to inspect the neighborhood as well. And you get that time to really decide if it's a right fit for you. Another thing to know is that the Gaylord Hotel is ginormous. And if you work for a nationwide company, you might be visiting it soon because it's an awesome place. Just about 10 to 15 minutes from the, uh, the Denver airport that I think it has 15, over 1,500 plus guests Rooms. Guest rooms. It's got an indoor water park. It's got restaurants. It's got the whole convention center and grandiose like hotel vibe resort out there close to the airport. And the whole idea of what of it was to make Denver more of like the hub. We're already a hub for the center of the country, but make it a hub for uh, businesses that are looking to uh, just host their nationwide business events here to bring everybody together so they don't have to go from new york to la just meet us out here in denver because it's awesome and we're awesome all right next topic uh, cherry creek state park yeah so at cherry creek state park you can rent boats you can paddleboard you can take your dogs to the park there's also bird watching and educational uh, camps for kids as well as junior race team for boating the dog park is awesome. I really like the, the off-leash dog park area uh, because they have, it's just so wide and open. The dog can just really roam. Um, it's not like one of those like pea gravel parks where it's just a very small enclosed area. It's Gigantamundo is the technical word. That's a unit of measurement, Gigantamundo. And there's like water features that the dogs can go play in. So it's a good time to go wear out your pup and it's just right up the street. And we have all those dog parks because we freaking love dogs out in Colorado. So your furry friendly companion, uh, they are welcome here. Like we just had lunch putting together this video and the patio. That's why I say the difference between Colorado and other places is some places like accept dogs and other places like here, they're like, my waitress is like, bring your dog in. I'm like, can I have my dog in? She's like, yeah, always bring your dog. Please, <laughs> always bring him in here. So super friendly place. So if you like that, and if you like dogs, and if you like these videos that we make for you guys, give us a thumbs up. Now's the moment. Go do that. <laughs> All right, number six thing that you need to know about living in Aurora, Colorado, is that it is a military focused area. You have a couple of different bases. Uh, you have, well, the Lowry Airport, Air Force Base is here, uh, Buckley Air Force Base. You have the uh, Fitzsimmons Army Fitzsimmons. Hospital. Yep. Yeah, the Fitzsimmons Army Hospital is right up the street from you. So you do have a, 
um, military presence, military neighbors, military vibe um, around this area, and a lot of the people that are like PCSing or moving here for military reasons, they're typically out here in Aurora because it's easy commute for them to work. And part of the Buckley Air Force Base that you'll see if you're looking west is going to be those golf ball shaped buildings. Those are built for their structural integrity to house uh, military equipment, could be radar equipment, could be satellite equipment, could be missile silos. You don't know and that's part of the fun. Uh, but I like to think that they're out there keeping us safe. And the last thing you need to know about moving to Aurora, Colorado is that you're definitely in the suburbs. You're about 45 minutes from the mountains. Um, but you're pretty close to Denver, about 25 to 30 minutes from Denver. So living in Aurora, everything is pretty close. Um, if you're going out to eat, going to the grocery store, things may be about five to 10 minutes away from you, which is pretty helpful, especially if you're trying to feed those kids or you know get some errands done. But it's not like you're gonna walk out and there's gonna be shopping right out your door. You're still in a neighborhood. So if you're thinking about moving out to Colorado and you're thinking Aurora might be on your radar, uh, you need to hit us up. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, scroll by fence. I think you said owl, owl. Yeah. Send with a great owl. flight path, a uh, pigeon carrier, uh, whatever is convenient for you. We love helping you guys out. It is what we do day in and day out. We could talk about this stuff all day. But for now, we're done with this video. So go check out one of our others and we'll see you next time.